Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Take MRI, and this is an example of a labral tear involving a hip. And the labrum is a little fibrocartilaginous wedge that goes around the rim of the hip. And this is a fairly common cause of hip pain. And so this is just a classic example. Everything else looks pretty good except for this one isolated finding. So here we go. This is a 38-year-old female who had right hip pain. The doctor thought they had a stress fracture, so they sent them for an MRI to see if they did have a stress fracture. And we did not see a stress fracture, but we did see this little labral tear. So here we go with the anatomy. This is this round ball here. This is the femoral head, and the femoral head sits in this cup and rotates. This cup is called the acetabulum, and that's part of the pelvic bone here. You can see the ilium is up high here. This is the pubic bone down here, and they come together at this area called the acetabulum. So the femoral head sits and rotates in the acetabulum, and the labrum is a little dark wedge that goes around the rim of this cup here. And so it's hard to see, but right here, this little area is the labrum. If we go towards the back, this little dark area is the labrum. If we march forwards, we see the labrum, instead of being really nice and dark, we see this little bright area, which is not normal. If we come more forward, it just looks gray, which is not normal. The femur, though, it looks fantastic. Nice round head, perfect. There's no joint space narrowing, no spurring or erosion. This is called the greater trochanter of the femur out here. And this is the femoral shaft going down. All these big things are the thigh muscles here. And over here is the pelvis towards the central part. This is the urinary bladder. So this patient has a labral tear. Now we're going to put up another view to see that better. So on this big field of view image here, we can see both the right side and left side at the same, same time. And on the right hand side, let me zoom this on up here, we see that there's a little white area. That is a labral tear. If we go towards the back, it looks pretty normal. If we go towards the middle of the superior labrum, there's a little dot there, which is the tear. If we go towards the front of that labrum, we see this horizontal band right there. It really stands out in this view because it has fluid in it. And on this sequence, bladder has fluid. It's bright. There's a little bit of fluid in the joint, which is really white here. And also have this little fluid in the horizontal tear of this labrum. So this is a good example of just a labral tear. And when we image the hip, we have multiple different sequences. We look at the hip forwards like this. We're looking straight at it. And we also look at it from the side. And I'll put up a side view here. Now in the side view, we see the hip from a different orientation. Here's the front. And then here's the gluteal region in the back here. The gluteus maximus muscle is here. Here's the groin area towards the front. And the labrum, here's the round balls of femoral head. And this is the acetabulum, this bone up here, the ilium. And this is the acetabulum. And the labrum is this little dark area here. And look at that. There's a little horizontal band, this little bit of bright fluid between the bone and this fibrocartilaginous labrum. So a right labral tear, a nice example of that. And this will cause pain in the right hip, and it is a very uh, common finding. So thank you very much.